Welcome to Spinnaker Summit. My name is Ya Ting Li. I am a software engineer at Pinterest. Pinterest is a cloud first visual discovery engine that serves more than 442 million monthly active users. Hopefully, you enjoyed the sessions before mine, and thank you very much for joining my session on how we deploy Spinnaker via Spinnaker. Also, I want to thank the organizers for helping with the virtual video sessions for Spinnaker Summit this year. Before I walk you through my topic, I would like to tell a little bit more about my team. My team is the engineering productivity team. Our vision is to build a developer platform that inspires developers to do their best work. Our mission is to provide the fast, safe, and the delightful path from ideation to production without worrying about infrastructure. In this session, I will share our progress to leverage the custom stage Hermes to optimize Spinnaker performance. Here is the agenda items for my session. First, the current usage of Spinnaker at Pinterest. Second, I will share some history of how we deployed Spinnaker in the past. Then after that, I will show you the new way we deploy and roll back Spinnaker deployment. Finally, I will share the progress to leverage the custom stage Hermes to optimize Spinnaker performance and the future plan. Here is a picture of the Spinnaker architecture. As you can see in the screenshot, there are two orange boxes on the left, Teletron and Hermes. They are, they are deployment tools developed in-house at Pinterest. Spinnaker will call their API to implement the deployment. We already implemented the custom stage for Teletron deployment in the past. Now we are in the progress to implement the custom stage Hermes for Hermes deployment. Pinterest built its continuous delivery system platform on Spinnaker in September 2018. We use Spinnaker to deploy our services to virtual machine hosts, Kubernetes parts, and the real-time data processing framework, Apache Flink. We onboarded about 50 applications, including Pinterest.com. Almost 400 pipelines and averaged 800 deployments daily on our prod Spinnaker instance. Spinnaker is a foundation of our continuous delivery system and is a critical part for production deployment. In the past, we deployed Spinnaker via command line. What I realized was the process was super tedious and uh, prone to error, to human errors. Is there a way, is there a better way to do this? Our team mission is to provide the fast, safe, and the delightful path from an ideation to production without worrying about infrastructure. In order to do this, we have to use the tools ourselves so that we can understand the pain points and the blockers and fix it for our customers to provide the best in-class service. 
I decided to try to use Spinnaker to deploy Spinnaker itself. Can I onboard a Spinnik pipeline to deploy Spinnaker? This will be much more efficient and systematic. I immediately set up two new Spinnik pipelines on our current environment and implemented one click button trigger for rollback for deployment and rollback. Here is a screenshot um, for the one click button deployment. We can we can pick and choose which microservice should be deployed. So it is fairly flexible for us if we don't want to deploy all the microservices, if, they, if some of them will not be changed. And here is a screenshot for the one-click button trigger for the rollback if the test fails. The new approach automated the deployment and rollback decreased deployment time and increased deployment frequency, as well as significantly decreased production incidence. During this period, I encountered a challenge. We have to deploy Spinnik microservices via Hermes. Hermes didn't support service deployment with config map because config because there's no column to store config map in Hermes database and there's there was no basal rule to publish config map YAML files on Artifactory. Artifactory is where Hermes pulls the content from and ingests the content into Kubernetes. So I have to implement a new feature on Hermes before I customize the new custom stage Hermes on Spinnaker to let it call Hermes API. Hermes is the in-house de deployment tool at Pinterest. Let me introduce Hermes to you in more detail. Hermes was initially focusing on enabling continuous delivery on Kubernetes. Hermes is now being built with the capacity to support other computing platforms. Hermes is designed to provide a single streamlined user interface for continuous delivery at Pinterest. After some efforts, the new custom stage Hermes looks like this. As you can see in the screenshot, we only have to input some necessary parameters to trigger the microservice deployment. And uh, we can also see the status of our running pods in Kubernetes. In this screenshot, you can see the there are two running pods in Kubernetes for microservice Orca on Hermes UI. Although I implemented the one click button trigger for deployment and rollback on both prod and the staging Spinnaker, there are still some pain points which motivates me to look into more improvements. My goal is to automate the whole process, which includes both stage and prod deployment, and tie them together in one pipeline. The pipeline should look like this. We first deploy the staging instance and then test. After the test, a select notification for manual judgment will be published and I can go to this pipeline and continue. If I choose the option to promote to prod, it will choose the branch past and the same version will be deployed to prod. 
if I choose the option to roll back, the stage instance will be rolled back and the pipeline will end here. This can be achieved by the following steps. One, set up another Spinnaker instance. Since we only have two Spinnaker instances, the prod and the staging, we need another Spinnaker instance, which could automate the whole process, including staging and prod deployment and testing. Two, implement a custom stage to call Hermes API to roll back the microservice deployment if the test fails. This needs work on both Spinnaker and Hermes. Three, implement a custom stage to trigger Spinnaker pipeline. Currently, for the test stage, we don't have a paved path to trigger Spinnik pipeline. In the future, I will implement a custom stage to trigger um, Spinnik pipeline or any instance to facilitate our Spinnik users. Finally, we will migrate our Spinnik users to use all the new custom stages after our dog fooding. Thanks for watching. It is great having you here in this session with me. Hopefully you enjoyed my session. Since there are many ways to do things on Spinnaker, if you have a better idea or suggestion, let me know. Any feedback and questions are welcome. Please feel free to contact me at yatinli at pinterest.com. Thanks again for your time. Stay safe and enjoy the wonderful rest of your day.